Today uh, we're gonna talk about a kind of brick in the Samsung S3 but could also be some other Samsung device that you downgraded. As you all know this thing was on Android 6 and uh, I downgraded to 4.3 because I wanted to inspect in fact some you know some Samsung apps that were kind of also running. I'm kind of checking and learning from security holes and issues uh, in apps trying to close them up and in fact I found some beautiful things uh, I was on a complete journey already uh, but I did not find it worthy to to broadcast so in fact um, I'm gonna start with the problem that came so and that we're gonna fix so in fact um, if you go into recovery mode you installed or with Audin the 4.3 yeah you downgrade it back to 4.3 then you see that android is dying you see that so in fact um we did a fresh install and um tja, i can also show it to you we can simply boot up the phone the phone will boot up fine but in no way you will be able to root it because we want to root it again after you know playing around with 4.3 at least we want to root 4.3 in a good way so how to fix it well i have some tools here and we're gonna jump into the job immediately also gonna connect some power to the phone because it might stop so let's see how to do it okay the problem is that we must downgrade the bootloader again so what we're gonna do peeps we're gonna fix the bootloader all right and we're gonna do that by selecting the pit and we're gonna select the GT9300 pit all right we're gonna select um, auto reboot repartition F reset time okay and we also gonna select NAND erase all so we selected auto reboot repartition F reset time NAND erase all okay and we selected only the pit nothing else all right so now we're gonna hit start you see that So it rebooted. So now, uh, in fact, uh, we kind of fixed it and we now gonna root. We also need to install the bootloader. Okay, so uh, now we the phone is booting up. It still ne needs to kind of <laughs> uh, show everything, all the apps, etc. We're just gonna kick it out, okay? And now we're gonna root the phone. So in fact, we're gonna put the phone into a download mode again. You see that it's in download mode and now we're gonna select the root file so effect um, here we're gonna say where we're gonna start 3.7 again and then yes we select PDA and we go for the CF root 6.4 that will also give us clockwork mod 6 okay though only auto reboot and F reset time is now selected so we hit start there we go boom okay so now effect I want to immediately go and see if everything went right rebooting now okay we're gonna go into recovery let go let's see if that all went right yes you see the recovery is set up we are rooted now peeps you can see that uh, everything went right and we don't have the error anymore of the dying Android okay so now in fact we are rooted and we can reboot the phone and now 
4.3 will start up it will take a while after we installed uh, the clockwork mod 5 the root when after we flash the root with Arden we now gonna uh, restore the bootloader because we can get into clockwork mod 5 now uh, we're gonna update that soon but we first gonna restore the bootloader so we just uh, installed 4.3 clean install and then uh, we fix the pit uh, and then we rooted all, all that happened in Arden and now we're gonna restore the bootloader okay so there we go and it's fixed and now we should boot up straight into 4.3 hear that the sound of the Samsung is not breaking up means very good sign so we're gonna leave it for there it will be oops it will be rooted already we cannot upgrade to 4.4 yet because we must uh, update the clockwork mod 5 to 6 but soon uh, this thing will be booted up and then we can uh, we can fix it and or fix it we can we can leave it on on 4.3 and just play a bit with 4.3 it's rooted so in fact this is a rooted 4.3 that we will see soon the apps will be updated and when we're there i'll get back to you and there we are the sam the samsung apps are or at least the apps are updating we are on 4.3 but uh, the phone is back as you could see and um yeah this is the only way how uh, i found that i could fix it um yeah it was a little bit scary to select uh the nand erase all and you know they always warn to do these things not to do it but unless you have another fix then this will be uh, the fix for when you downgrade your samsung s3 from android 6 you know you had uh android 6 running and you decided to kind of go back to original so you went to the highest version available from samsung that is version 4.3 uh, the downgrade uh, in fact the installing went fine but we had a dead android in the recovery and we had to fix that and to fix that uh, we had to uh, point to the pit file and in the pit file we had to select auto reboot repartition f reset time and nand erase all okay that was really fast so then it rebooted again and then we're gonna immediately root it because we need the clockwork mode 5 the file the cf root sg3 v6.4 tar that is the file and after we rooted it, we will not boot into the system. We will immediately remove the battery again, kick it out. And then uh, we will go into recovery that will be repaired. We will have a uh, version five installed. And then we will go to the bootloader file that you will also find in my description. And then you just select that bootloader file, flash it as a zip and uh, yeah then the phone will reboot and then you will hear that the sound won't be breaking up anymore of the Samsung and that is really cool because then you know that you will finally boot up back into the phone and in fact here we're doing a, a clean uh, boot up but the phone is rooted at this moment because we have clockwork mod installed and oh man go away and here you will see that we uh, have Super Sue somewhere installed here. Super Sue. Continue. It says installation <laughs> failed. Um, tja. Clockwork mod. Uh, no thanks. This version of should be used with blah blah five or newer different kernel current kernel unknown. Tja. 
it's all good well you know um i'm not gonna stay on this i'm just gonna kill it again all right remove the battery and we're gonna install my own room i don't like that that thing what i just saw there so we just gonna say install zip from sd card or maybe we should say uh wipe data factory reset no let's do that i'm glad to see that android is back up and running no more no more little dead android there advance uh wipe dalphic catch yes wipe okay so now uh effect we're gonna uh update we're gonna update the clockwork mod to six and let me see where the file is clockwork mod six flashable zip here it is and there we go boom you see that install complete so what we need to do now of course is reboot and we go into recovery immediately again oh. no <laughs> i missed it it was quicker than me there we go one more time we go into recovery there we are So we're gonna install uh, SIP now. We just updated the the clockwork mod. We're gonna install SIP from SD card. And uh, let's just go for um, the blue iOS ROM. I think it's a beautiful ROM. It's one of the beautiful ROMs that I created for, well, that I created. It was created by Cyanogen mod. But that I modded, I must say it right then. Eh? You must give the right people the credits. Eh? I cannot, because I call it Pokerom, say, yeah, I created the room. I didn't create anything, man. Eh? It's created by the developers out there, the gods, you know? I only had the, how, how can you say? Um, in Dutch, we have a nice word. But I, I tried to find the word in English. I only had the opportunity or the the, the 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 pleasure, you know, to be able to pimp it and make it nice after you know these guys created a fantastic room for us to do so. Alright? So that is the whole deal. So the pimping, that's for me. But the rest, tja. That's from the Cyanogen mod gods, eh? there you go. And no, this is not an Apple. This is a Samsung. This is Android, it's not Apple. And uh, we're gonna look at the real-time boot after the install. Might take a little bit long, but we should finally get there because we fixed the bootloader. 4.3 installed fine and only after that you know we can decide to go even further and you know install a custom ROM because we're now doing upgrade to 4.4 we did update the clockwork mods to version 6 but we could not fix the phone or the bootloader with clockwork mod 6 installed you must really understand that okay don't go play smart and say oh that is clockwork mode 5 so that is old you know i'm not gonna use that i'm gonna go for six because then uh, the flashing won't go the flashing of the bootloader will stuck somewhere in the middle and the whole recovery will be stuck and only thing you can do is remove the battery and go back into download mode and do the whole thing again and keep to the rules because only this uh, clockwork mod 5 uh, tar can fix it we are already there it's coming you see that it wants to put me on the netherlands i really want to be on english 
United States. There we are. Next. Skip. Okay. Skip. Next. 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 Finish. Boom. High launcher always. And these were the old errors. And we are up and running, peeps. Look at that. We fixed it. You see that? And we could even go back to 4.3. So you could also, you know. Um, but you will have to <laughs> you root it before you can uh, fix it. It's, yeah, because you must fix the bootloader. And the bootloader can only be fixed uh, in this way. This is really the only way to fix this problem. And, um, yeah. Uh, if you think this information was useful and I'm sure it was of course you must like this video subscribe to my channel and Love to see you of course in my next video again. I think by the way to continue this I think That if you have the Samsung s2, I'm, I'm gonna do a downgrade from 6 with a Samsung s2 as well, and then I'm gonna see what's gonna happen i think i'm gonna get the same problem that we're gonna get a dead uh, error there and that we will have to fix the bootloader again so if you're on android 6 you know um be careful when you're gonna downgrade because it might happen to you as well and if it happens you know for some phones it, the fix might not be so easy because the boot file the pit file might not be there you know so it's it's really important that you know whatever you're doing with your phone thanks for watching subscribe and good luck